Hello guys, my name is Desert Tiger and welcome to episode 13 of Green Project. Wow, it's lucky 13. Today we're gonna try to actually we're gonna finish stage number three of Tree of Life. And um, also we're gonna see what's the stage four, which is gonna be the last stage of the tree. It's gonna look like. But before we're gonna do this, uh, first I'm gonna get rid of this barrel since from the last update I can finally remove this barrel, which and then uh, it's gonna place next to this one. I took this one from the the other house, so now I can place over here so I have extra water. All right, so let's see what we have to do. In stage three, which uh, one is the uh, four turnips, and I believe I should have all the stuff in my storage. Yes, I got 13, they're still good, will decay in 16 days. So let's do this and let's see what's the last stage of Tree of Life need. Okay, so yes, the water here is now purer than the Pope, I think. Gone at least is the dry... Uh, so what, what, what? Ah, I didn't quite the rate. But, so let's see what's the other stage of the tree, which is the last one. Alright, so I need 800 points of the green factor. It's gonna be 800 points, which I really I have that I have 910. And I only need uh, 10 seeds of oak trees, 10 seeds of maple, elm and cypress. I should have some seeds, I got a bunch of trees. Let's see, yeah, 29, 24, 34, 13. Okay, that should be enough. So even we can complete stage number four, which is the last stage of the tree of life. So let's do this. Let's do the maple first, then uh, acorn, which is the oak trees, then elm, and cypress. Awesome. Excellent. Our tree of life is completed. Perfect. Looks even very great. Uh, the reason why I plant this bush to get the grass over here. And there's only one extra spot which required the grass. And of course the beetle spawn. As you may see it. That's from this flower bush. But once I the, the flower bush is going to cover that spot, I will cut it off. Because anyway, the tree of life we're gonna see like it's it's hidden, so you cannot see it. So it's, there's no point to, for that flower bush to be over here. Anyway, uh, also would like to guys to share. I would like to share the stuff that I was like talking last episode about planting trees, like putting maple in the middle and then four cypress trees in the corners. And guess what? See. I got the time. There's a one, there's another one. Oh, behind the corn. Let me just cut off the corn so you can see it. Yeah. And also, uh, one of you guys said in the comments that the uh, counterpillar worm, which is, you can see it here, uh, that actually the maple tree spawned the counterpillar worm, which is correct. The only thing what I know, that's from the game developer, that counterpillar eats only stuff what is lying on the ground so let's see like corn is lying on the ground so that worm, worm can eat that i don't think so the worm is gonna eat uh, see like corn so something was still growing or actually it's we didn't cut it cut it i'm not so sure about that so i'm gonna find out also i would like to Actually, also I would like to tell you that uh, beetle eats the caterpillar. 
That's what I know so far. I'm not so sure if the lizards also is the caterpillar. Uh, I have to. Well, best best bet is to place uh, super tree and entry, which is I do have already. So I have to just wait for lizard to spawn and see if the lizard will gonna eat the caterpillar. But uh, other than that, I'm gonna leave that corn on the ground. Maybe I should just cut off a bunch of the corns. I just want to see. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Yeah, see? Did you see it? The beetle just eat the caterpillar worm. Oh, there is a lizard coming. Uh, let's see if if a lizard can. Maybe I should just go away. Let's see. Okay, lizard is there. Come on. Uh. Anyway, as you can see, the team is growing. Uh, I'm still gonna watch and make uh, actually remove other plants like this. Uh, I'll, I'll leave. Just gonna remove that. Uh, yep. Yeah. Just I'm gonna leave it at the team, and I just wanna see. If I have like lots of them around that tree and it's not gonna be eaten by the beetles, so that's my test. See if that time can survive. Also, in the last episode, I said about placing cypress trees next to the flower bushes if you want like colorful bushes. So, this is what I got so far. So, I got the, all the cypress trees and then the flower bushes, and as you can see. Beetles didn't eat that my colorful bushes. And also what I know, the game developer, he balanced the lizards, so the lizards can now eat more frequently beetles. So that should be more helpful. And let's check out my environment. As you can see, uh, my number dropped down to 74. Actually, I had to one point only 40 it just goes back. Uh, the trees, they still not in the perfect spots, so I'm still working on it, but since the tree after like 20 or 40 days, they're gonna die, I believe, then I don't have to worry about the cutting elm trees. So I'm gonna let them die and then we'll start planting the proper way to balance the bags. As you can see, look, I got more lizards now. I had 88, now I'm 91, which is not that much. And also I'd like to show you my testing site. So let's go over there. Okay, we are close to our testing site. Actually testing site is in my in the cemetery. And this is the best testing site. This is where I test the flower trees, cypress trees, elm trees. I just plant the tree and see what kind of bugs will gonna be spawned or lizards or worms. And yep. Maple tree, actually, I can say, can spawn caterpillar worms. All right, uh, about the trees, you guys can place like uh, oak trees next to each other. There's no problem with that. Um, as you can see, I only got 46 squares and they didn't grow in the huge numbers and it's safe to do it. Same with the cypress trees, as you can see I got a bunch of a lot of cypress trees next to each other and also they don't go spawn so many lizards. Except beetles, if you want lots of beetles, which beetles could be good if you're gonna kill them and use them as a uh, compost. As you can see, see I got 15 dead beetles, that's how many beetles I killed and there's another one for 6 beetles. So I use them as a compost, which is very good, very convenient way. So if you want lots of compost, just don't uh, collect the stuff or cut down the trees to get the comp uh, compost. Just a uh, plant full for maple trees next to each other and let the beetles spawn and then kill them with the eggs and that's it. That's how you can get so much compost. I mean, I mean stuff, decayed stuff to make a compost. Also for Completely new players. If uh, somebody is like starting completely new game, 
I could give you one or two suggestions uh, to build the X, I mean pickaxe, because you can find in your in the house X, uh, what do you call it, side and hole. But pickaxe, you have to actually construct it, and you have all the materials except the stone, which stone is like in front of the house on the right side, just grab just like three pieces of stone and make a pickaxe and first thing what you should do I mean not what you should do, this is like you can play the game w the way you want it but what you can do, you can dig using the pickaxe and until you're gonna get the oak uh, which is the acorn seeds and it would be the best if you could get like four don't worry about the pickaxe because you can always fix it and once you have that on this side there should be enough space to plant the four oak trees uh, the reason is because like these oak trees gonna grow materials like just the ferrite clay and stone which will be useful to even fix not only pickaxe but the other tools too plus they also gonna spawn the squares which you can kill them and you have like good source of food plus they also have uh, some radiation points which is minus five radiation points of course uh, you can still plant the entries in caution but i suggest to plant a little, at least one entry if you're gonna find it and the one separate tree next to each other since this update should be fine there should be that some of the beetles and i hope the uh, time is gonna grow this time it's not gonna be eaten and that will be helpful for you. So that's one of my suggestions. I don't mean you have to follow that, but just as if you want to have like good start. All right, I guess uh, that episode wasn't really exciting, except the tree of life. We completely finished the tree of life. So I still gonna continue trying to figure out a bunch of other stuff in this game. And I know there's a new stuff coming like honey bees honey uh, you're gonna be able to build the structures which is awesome and so thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoy it and see you next time bye bye take care